Yo, what is good, fellas? Hope you boys are all having a fantastic start to your Monday. We're back talking about the best free, aka champions, to pick up and add to your team. If you boys are new around here, though, we do update this video every single Monday. And when I mean free, aka player, we're talking about the set exchange, aka champion. Now, I know it isn't the quote unquote free, aka week, but I know a lot of you guys have opened up bundles, which gives you extra tokens, as well as saving your free, aka player pack. You guys can see here on my account, I am still currently saving this AKA champion token exchange. There hasn't been one that I've been over the wall for. We'll talk about them all today and we'll see if I'm finally going to be ripping open my 85 to 89 overall AKA champion token exchange pack. When it does come to the ranking every AKA players, we don't actually include the limited times, but don't worry if you want to hear my thoughts on all of the limited time cards, we'll talk about them at the end of today's video. But Without further ado, coming in at number 12, I got Tyreek Hill. Cheetah, still one of the best wide receivers in the entire game. Coming in with 88 speed, 81 jump, 85 catch and traffic, 86 short, 85 medium, and 88 deep route running. 5 foot 10, 191 pounds. I mean, we've talked about this Tyreek Hill card for a month now. He is a top tier player in this game. The fact that you can purchase him for like 125 to 150,000 coins today is an absolute steal. This Cheetah card is top tier. We've talked about this card for a month minute my only complaint with them his glowing x factor is nothing too special spin cycle for one ap really not that good and then rack him up just isn't what it was in madden 24 all in all though tyree kill as a wide receiver two or wide receiver three on your team is a dog all right but coming in at number 11 i got joe coleco from the new york sack exchange drop out a month ago as well he's got 82 speed 87 excel 86 strength 87 block shade 87 power move and 80 finesse move six foot three 263 pounds honestly a really solid option also a very good value player on the defensive line we also did get the 88 overall reduxes so mark gastineau the third new york sack exchange player to get this plus one power move is significantly more affordable. That is why I do have Joe Coleco and Marty Lyons not coming in at 12 and 11. That's why Tyreek's at 12. And Joe Coleco and Marty Lyons, who we'll talk about in a second, are coming up now. This plus one power move makes these cards significantly better. His glowing X factors are decent. He's got AKA edge threat as well as double or nothing. I'm a big fan of double or nothing right now. So Joe Coleco coming in at number 11. I basically gave it away during that little Coleco spiel, but we do have Marty Lyons, the defensive tackle for the New York Sack Exchange, coming in at number 10 i guess start in the top 10 for us today i just think he is a little bit better the dt position also a little bit weaker 78 speed though 86 excel 88 strength 86 tackle 85 block shed and 87 power move six foot five 269 pounds doesn't have that 300 pound threshold you're looking for on a dt but his stats do add up very nicely taking a look here at his glowing x factors interior threat el toro not the craziest stack you could potentially get on a dt right now but i'm here for it marty lyons coming in at number 10 all right but moving on over to number nine one of my favorite cards in the entire game we got night train lane DB is, in my opinion, the most important position on your field. I've said this a lot over the last few days, and I mean, it's honestly the truth. And, you know, Night Train Lane, still very good. 88 speed, 84 excel, 88 jump, 87 man, 85 zone, 84 press coverage, 6'1", 194 pounds. That in 25 is very high ball dependent. You want to have tall players on your field. Well, a lot of the champion defensive backs we're getting recently have been 5'11", 5'10". Night Train Lane is 6'1", so we can hang with those 6'1", 6'2", even 6'3", wide receivers that we are getting on a regular basis. Also, glowing X-Factor wise on Night Train Lane, he does get pick hard. It's one of my favorite glowing X factors in the entire game. All in all, a really solid card. I wouldn't recommend spending your token pack on him. I hope that's kind of like a common sense knowledge thing there. But as a pickup player right here, Night Train Lane is a dog. And when I mean pickup player, I mean spending coins on him. I mean, you guys see his price right there, 174K insane value but continuing on today's list and moving on up to the 88 overalls we do have rob gronkowski personally my not least favorite 88 overall but the more and more i look at this card and the more and more i see other tight ends we're getting gronk has actually been growing on me he is a six foot six 268 pound tight end he's got 85 speed 88 short route running in 85 medium 80 run blocking is still one of the best run blockings we've seen on a tight end for whatever reason ea is just not giving tight ends decent run blocking Walking this year i don't really care but it is what it is as for his glowing x factors tight end apprentice for two ap it's solid tight end apprentice in my opinion isn't as good as slot 
slot apprentice or outside wide receiver apprentice, but still, it's an apprentice for additional hot routes. You can't complain. Bruiser isn't too special this year for 2 AP, kind of a waste. All in all, though, as a tight end, 88 overall Gronk coming in at number eight. Number seven, a card that I wish we could rank higher. It is Brian Arakpo. Decent outside linebacker, but it's an outside linebacker. And if you guys watch a lot of my videos, you know how I feel about outside linebackers. I just don't rock with them. He is pretty good though. I mean, 84 speed is a little bit slower, but everything else on this card, pretty top tier. 90 excel, 89 strength, 88 block shed, 89 power move, 80 finesse move, six foot four, 257 pounds. Glowing X factor wise, unstoppable force. I actually really like unstoppable force as well as double or nothing but it is 4 AP on Unstoppable Force, so is it worth it? I mean, probably not, but if you are running a little bit of a, you know, budgetier squad and you have Brian Arakpo on your team and you're trying to spend a bunch of AP on one card, Unstoppable Force could be the play here. Brian Arakpo, though, coming in at seven. We got the Hitman coming up next at number six, Harrison Smith, one of the cleanest card arts we still have in today's game. 87 speed, 84 XL, 88 tackle, 80 man, 88 zone, 90 hit power. He's six foot two at the strong safety position. That is actually really good. High ball meta. We say it how many times in today's video? How many times over the last pretty much since Madden 25 has dropped? You want taller players on your field, and six foot two is actually really, really good. I mean, I can't wait till we get an Ed Two Tall Jones safety out there. But for now, Hitman can get the job done. AKA Avalanche for 2 AP and Run Stuffer for 2 AP. Not the craziest little stack here he's got, but I do think Avalanche is the play here. He does have 90 hit power. Harrison Smith is known for forcing fumbles, or at least he was known for forcing fumbles. A little bit washed nowadays, but still, regardless, Harrison Smith, Hitman, a, you know, a top tier card in today's game. All right, but now moving on to the last of the 88 overalls. I do have Creed Humphrey, Country Strong. Now, if you guys know me, I am a big fan of picking B&D offense alignment, and well, that is exactly what Creed Humphrey, country strong is. It's a center, a BND center. You can lock into your lineup until at least the blitz promo. He's got 87 strength, 88 run block, and 88 pass block. Now his motivator boost is nothing special. He gives plus one strength to himself, or if you do put him in as the backup to plus one to whatever center you're rocking with. Madden 24 aka card did give plus one throw power to quarterbacks. This one gives plus one strength to centers. A little bit disappointing, but still the best pick with the 88 overall players when it comes to the free aka. But now onto the 89 overalls and honestly going to be 100% with you guys. I don't love the 89 overall aka's we've seen. The 87's and 86's way back were like significantly better compared to the 89's we're getting now. Obviously the 89's are better, but for the time that they're coming, it's just, I'm not a big fan of this, you know, the recent AKA drops. And I mean, Wild Man is not a good card. Now, obviously he gets the Gridiron Guardian Surge Chem Boost. So this card will be juiced up, but that will go away on Wednesday. So how usable is this card? I don't even think he's a top three middle linebacker in the game. 87 speed, 87 excel, 87 tackle, 89 block shed, and 90 hit power, but 70 zone coverage. Six foot three, definitely not the shortest, but also we have a taller middle linebacker who's faster. Shout out Troy Anderson, team of the week. The greatest thing to ever come out of that promo. Taking a look here at his glowing X factors. Mid zone KO for two, run stuffer for two. I'm just not a fan of wild man. We are going to slide on over to mutt.gg to take a look at Reggie White, who I do have coming in at number three. I mean, this card is cool. It's another left end. We need some really good cheap left ends in the game. Obviously, Micah Parsons is a dog, but I'm sure a lot of you guys are getting tired of using the same 87 overall game time Micah Parsons. Reggie White is six foot five, almost 300 pounds, 89 Excel, 92 block shed, 85 tackle, 89 strength, 83 speed, and 90 power move. Now, I will say we don't know what glowing X factors he gets, but just using my common knowledge, they are not going to juice this champion left end with some absolutely game breaking you know, glowing X factor, October 14th, the week of most fear. They're just not going to do it. I think this card will be good. He'll be serviceable, but we will be getting an Aaron Donald most likely coming with most feared. So yeah, Reggie White's time on your team might be short and, uh, I wouldn't recommend locking him in as a B&D. As for number two, we got last week's number one, Patrick Mahomes Showtime. I think the card is cool. Do not get that twisted. Mahomes is actually one of the best quarterbacks in the game. But uh, number one, we got a left tackle. So, you know, we are a little bit biased to, you know, picking B&D offense alignment. But Mahomes as a card is not bad. I mean, 87 speed, 91 throw power, 87 short, 89 medium, and 87 deep accuracy. Six foot two, 225 pounds. I know a lot of you guys actually picked Mahomes last week with your B&D player pick. 
And like, I don't hate the play whatsoever. It is a top tier card right here. But for me personally, I am going to hold out. Mahomes, glowing X factors, our run and gun, backyard QB, and AKA Fearless. At number one, though, we got Teron Armstead, left tackle for the Miami Dolphins, 87 awareness, 89 pass block, and 89 run block, six foot five, 305 pounds. The only annoying part I have with this card, it is another offensive tackle. Now you can put him in at left guard. You can put him in at right tackle. It'll still be an absolute stud. Overall might go down a little bit, but like it doesn't really matter. He's going to play the same. Just kind of annoying that we are continuing to get left tackles. So I will not be picking Armstead as my free AKA player, going to continue to hold out. I think we see 90s very soon. I also want a set champion defensive back. I've been saying that. We haven't gotten one, fellas. Give me the Charles Tillman or the Peanut Tillman or whatever else defensive back we get with AKAs, EA. We need it because that'll be the play. But quickly taking a look up all of the AKA limited time, starting off with Wildman. Card is not that crazy good, especially at this price point, 1.4 mil. We'll round up for him. 89 speed is fast, but he's not worth 1.4 million coins. 91 blocks and 92 hit power to 89 zone coverage. Good card, but not worth the price. Creed Humphrey is a 612,000 coin center. If you want to use Creed Humphrey, just use his 88 overall version. Gronk, I don't think is that good, but he is, you know, low-key becoming rental territory. You can snag a Gronk for like 450,000 coins. I honestly don't hate the pickup. Tyreek Hill, this card is an absolute stud, but he did just get a Redux. So if you want Tyreek Hill, you can go pick up the Redux. He also does get the Grid Iron Guardian Surge Chem on the Redux, but that card is so freaking expensive. The LTD is actually cheaper right now. I think once the Surge Chem does go away, if it does go away, then all of those cards will, you know, drop in price. We'll talk about pricing and all of the Surge Chem nonsense later tonight in my updates video. Stay tuned for that. As for the other LTDs, none of them are really worth your time. I mean, Mark Gastineau, if you want him, pick up this version, but it's not, it's, it's a, you know, it's a defense alignment. Do you want to spend 446,000 coins on it? Most likely not. Fellas, that is everything we got today. I did get my voice back a little bit this morning. I sound a little bit raspy or congested. It was a long weekend, but we're going to lock in. We'll catch you boys back here at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time talking about AKAs when they do go live. And if we get anything else fun, of course, you boys know we'll cover it here. Until then, though, have a great Monday. Do your homework. Go to school. Have fun at work. Peace, fellas. Have a good one.